If all this was apparently triggered by the shooting of Mark Duggan on Thursday evening, it's perhaps surprising that only three people have left flowers at the place where he died. IPCC investigators arrive on the scene at 9 p.m., almost three hours after the shooting. But five days into their inquiry, the information vacuum means that conspiracy theories are growing about how Mark Duggan died. The IPCC are appealing for witnesses, but suggestions that a bullet which was lodged in a police radio was one of their own and had not been fired from another weapon has raised more awkward questions. But people who live nearby told me that a police surveillance vehicle had been filming the road for several days before the shooting. They claim to have seen armed plainclothes police hiding in bushes nearby and say the taxi in which Mark Duggan was a passenger was taken away from the scene before being brought back later for more tests. And while the rumour mill continues to churn out theories, the local MP wants the facts. Clearly, when a, a man dies in that manner, uh, on a London street, there are big questions, and we see speculation in the media um, today. Uh, I know no more, but I, there are some serious answers about what the nature of the operation was in Tottenham, because it was not an operation led by Tottenham police, it was led by Operation Trident, centrally. It may be the middle of the week before the centre of Tottenham is reopened to the public. Community leaders here think it's important that the Metropolitan Police, or the IPCC, open up by then too.